My name is Benjamin. I work for the Austrian startup Yasu.com. Um, at Yasu, what we do is basically we're building a media platform that enables you to access audio, video, and text content from over 5,000 different media sources worldwide. So what Yasu enables you to do is whether you're interested in the CNN daily news or in the BBC global news or in virtually any type of news, whether it's audio, video, or text, you can consume it online on our platform. You can consume it offline just using a normal phone where you call a number, a local landline number in your country, and you listen to the media that you've subscribed to. And you can also use any smartphone to access your content. So the idea behind Yasu is we are the first platform and solution enabling you to consume media, whether it's free or paid content, whether it's video, text, or audio, using literally any mobile device. I acquire the media partners, whether it's the BBC or The Economist or CNN globally, and um, basically ensure that they allow us to use their content on our platform and uh, that they integrate their solutions with ours. Okay. At the moment, we're in the finalization of our new product, uh, yasu.com. Um, right now, it's a, it's, it's a free access for all the users, but in the middle of this year, we will be switching to a freemium model where users can subscribe to our service. So they basically pay to use our technology in order to consume media. Um, and we also have a micropayments uh, offering, so users can basically pay for individual types of paid content, whether it's podcasts or other forms of content. Right now we have roughly 50,000 registered users, but um, a lot of users who are not registered also access Yasu. So um, our applications are currently being accessed on a daily basis in more than 160 countries. So for example, we have an OV application that's been used around the world on a daily basis. Uh, we also have a very successful iPhone and uh, also an iPad application, as well as an Android app uh, that's being used globally. We're located in Vienna, but our solutions are being used mostly in the United States, but also elsewhere around the world in Asia, Israel, um, also in the European regions. There's one founder, his name is Roland Müller. Uh, he's also our CEO. Um, he founded the company in 2007, basically out of the vision that he wanted to make media accessible across all platforms and devices. There were several stages of investments in the company. Um, the first one was uh, seed investment. So basically in that stage there was a beta version of our product but it was not fully developed and in the later stages, early stage investments, um, there was an existing product and the investments had the purpose of basically driving product development and focusing on the expansion of the company. In total we got uh, roughly 1 million euros in investments through the several stages and um, the purpose of, of this investment was to help the product development, the expansion, the international expansion of the company and also to cover the personnel costs. Minority. Basically, for us, when we meet an investor until we, we sign the contract with the investor, it takes between two to six months. Um, the way we found investors basically was exclusively through the personal connections of our CEO. He's a person who's very well connected. And um, the interesting thing is that uh, there wasn't one single investor who declined to invest. So every contact that was approached by our CEO actually invested into the company. There are several criteria. I mean, on the one hand, we focus on the media industry. So um, that was one of, the, one of the aspects that we really concentrated on, is finding investors who are very well, well connected in the media segment. So one of our investors is the former CEO of one of the largest publishing groups in, in Europe. And uh, obviously, as a business angel, he gives us contacts, he helps us find uh, media companies, connects us with them, and helps us develop the company. Um, the other criteria was to find someone who's just very well connected in the business world, who can uh, drive the B2B development of the company, who can just connect us with different kinds of companies, also with new investors. So those were our two main criteria.
We report to our investors on a quarterly basis, so they get an overview of how the company has developed, uh, what is the financial process of the company, um, what are the, the next steps, what are the new product launches, when is the new portal going to launch. Those are basically the main things. Well, firstly, I think you have to be very careful about selecting your investors, so you really have to know who the person is, who you're giving part of your company to. Um, you will screen them, you will look for them online, see if there are any, any things that you like or don't like about the investor. Um, but one of the most important things is uh, that the personal connection works, that you just have the feeling this is a person you want to be working with, this is a person you want to give a part of your company to. And another thing is how suitable is the investor to your company? Can he add strategic value? Is he someone who can provide you with valuable contacts, or is it someone who will not participate heavily in the company? Because if, in effect, for us as a company supported by business angels, the idea of a business angel is not just to provide you with, with financial capital, but to really support the company and actively participate in the growth and in the success of the company. So um, you really need to have the feeling that this is a person who can not only get along with you, but who can also add value to your company. Certain investors who will consult us, who will assist us in the strategic planning of the, of the company. Um, but the main way in which they have added value in the past is by supporting in the development of the company, by finding new B2B customers, and also by uh, giving us contacts in the media industry. I think one of the most important things is, is firstly, have a great idea. Have an idea that you can really focus on that really has potential. And really make sure that you, you're very clear about your business model. Where is the revenue coming from? How much revenue are you going to accumulate? What are your prognoses? And um, to really have a very clear idea of, of where the road is going ahead of you. Because I think a lot of startups, they have great ideas, but then they don't have the business plans, they don't have the business models that can support these ideas. And not only in accumulating investors, but also in actually growing the company and turning it into a profitable global business, this is key. Just having the business model and uh, basing it on feasible backup statistics.